Hello and welcome to another video and today we've got a fine example here of a 2008 Ford uh, Transit Connect or Custom or Courier, not sure what it is, either way it doesn't go so let's confirm the fault and let's get it fixed. So in line with all the American YouTubers I've got a vehicle here that's almost been to the moon, I think the moon's 240,000 miles away so we're just about halfway there. Anyway, flashing uh, immobiliser light, so I'll put the ignition on. Let's see what we've got. I've been told it's got an immobiliser fault. So I've got immobiliser light staying permanently on. I've got a clutch pedal, which you can't see. Which looks like I'll show you. Clutch pedal there is absolutely knackered. So got no clutch hydraulics, make sure it's out of gear. So as you can see there we've got on the right hand side got a transmission or a engine management light on. Either way it's a warning light. Obviously engine management light on would go out if it starts up. And I'm turning the key. And we've got absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. So let's plug it in and let's see what we've got and take it from there. So we've got it plugged in. I've got the battery on support. And I see here, those that know will know. Just by the last two letters there, this is a top quality battery. I'll say no more. Okay, so we've done a code scan on the vehicle and we've got one fault in the engine control module uh, P1622 ID numbers do not match signal is above maximum threshold uh, da -da -da -da. key unrecognized an unprogrammed smart shield key or an incorrect patch type has been used in an attempt to start the vehicle okay uh, there is and one in the instrument cluster there is no PCM identification known to the patch module an ignition run accessory circuit failure if the ignition POS what's that piece of shit I don't know I, POS I supply is detect defective this will cause the instrument cluster to remain inoperative for approximately 20 seconds after the engine has started okay right let's see what we can do from here then well the key doesn't look an old key uh, sorry a new key it looks quite old However, it's his spare key and he's not telling us anything. The problem I've got here is no one takes any information. I have to use my initiative and ring the customer myself to get as much information as possible. Uh, so I feel like I'm doing two jobs at once. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed off today. Sorry, guys. Right, so, yep, this is an old key. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with uh, on the PATS programming using Forescan. Let's see if we can realign everything and see what that does. Okay, so let's go into the PATS programming and in the instrument cluster. Let's get it started. Is it vehicle with a push button start? No, it's not. Information there which uh, blokes, so we never read it. Obviously, I've read it before. Um, let's try module initialization first. Number of keys stored two. So we'll try initialization. If not, if this doesn't work, we may be looking at a potential key issue, possibly. Not too familiar with these older systems. So, coded access requires retrieving a security outcode from the patch and exchanging it. So, yeah, it's the old encode outcode. So, luckily, Forescan does this in the background. Okay, so now it's asking me to turn the ignition off. Just reached in and turned it off. Press OK. Wait 35 seconds. So, back in a moment. And now the 35 seconds is up. Uh, turn the ignition back on. Do not start the engine. Well, it would be nice if it would start. I've got my doubts. So then we go and press OK. The 
initialization has been successful patch module initialization is now complete press ok ok let's go give it a try then let's see what it does ok so we're in the vehicle now turn the ignition on see what happens the patch light's gone out we've still got that little cog wheel let's see what happens now and she runs excellent that's what we like to see okie cokey right so nice little demonstration there on the power of four scan on older vehicles so I'm going to call that one a fix and we'll have a look into what this clutch problem is. So thanks for watching guys.